Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product and you can see this is King Kong T64M smart controller and this board has 64 channel digital input and 64 channel digital output so this is also made by ESP32S3 and the support use Home Assistant by ESP Home or support you can write your own Arduino source code and also you can use ESP IDF development tool to make your own application and in this video i will show you this hardware details and how it works with the different software such as the home assistant and the Tuya mobile phone and the king Kony cloud server and the local web service all have support by this controller okay let's look at the hardware details firstly okay let's look at this is king Kony t64m it's most fit output and you can see uh, this is practically sure, also support installed on the Dingreal in your power distribution box and let's look at the size firstly then I will open this mini, uh, at a mini cover so you can see uh, this is the size you can see this is the size just this size and change an inch unit and size and change unit and also you can see the size size okay so let's look at uh, this box you can see uh, this have digital input this is 64 channel digital input uh, used by dry contact signal and this you can see have free GPIO and IS485 and analog input and the power supply I uh, use 12 or 24 volt both support a uh, USB C cable for download of firmware and this you can see the digital output uh, 64 channel digital output and the red LED is the output indicate and the green LED is the power and you can see the ESP32 download button and the reset button and this is a Wi-Fi antenna of ESP32 and this is a internet cable okay let's open this aluminium shell let's look at what inside of this box cover and let's look at uh, this you can see the LED indicates 64 channel LED indicates and this one you can see uh, this ESP32 S3 and N16 R8 uh, large memory size and uh, we can open this top PCB Okay, let's remove remove this board. And this one you can see uh, this I square C extend the chip. And the back of the PCB, uh, at the bottom side of the PCB, have many MOSFET. Every MOSFET support 4 ampere of the load current. Okay, let's install back. Okay, this time I will test it. I'll let you see how it works with the different software solution, and I will use. Ethernet and I will connect with a DC12 power supply DC12 power supply and you can see uh, this is the green LED power LED is on okay let's back to my computer and you can see uh, this is T64M and you can see uh, this have some details about every interface you can check at here and uh, every output I use 4 ampere driver and you can see I uh, have some different 
resource, uh, ESP32 IO ping define, ESP Home YAML file, and the KCS v3 also have support by this board. And you can see in our form, that have showed, uh, you can see, uh, the, the different Arduino source code and ESP Home YAML file and ESP32 IO ping define. And uh, let's look at how it works uh, with the KCS v3. I have already downloaded the KCS v3 by USB-C cable. So you just, you can see, you can open this by the web browser, just by this IP address, you can see T64M. And that have show the index and the input and the output and some details how to use. You can see our online guide because this have showed KCS online guide. That is very uh, details have explained at here how to use every every menu and every, every window, what, what means, so you can check it here. So I just uh, introduce you the web page uh, first. And the sensor, as you can see, you can connect with a different sensor with a different interface. And the monitor, you can see, I have uh, enabled Tuya, so you can, this time you can use a mobile phone, Tuya mobile phone, and a smart life, or Tuya smart application to remote country by this, this board. And also you can see there are some digital input state and output state. You can see I can turn on one, two, three, and all on. And you can see all 64 channel is on and this is all off. So this is digital input for dry contact signal. And this you can see the if DDT you can Add to your FTD for if condition or then command. So you can just uh, add this condition by this left window and then command by this right window. And the next network uh, you can connect with the Ethernet cable or connect with your Wi Fi or connect with the Kinkoni G1 Forge module so that you can just define uh, which is TXP and IXP for Forge module SIM 7600 module. So that will have uh, some short message and the voice call function for this T64M board. And this you can see the protocol. And the protocol you can see if I enable Kinkoni Cloud so that I can use Kinkoni Cloud web service to remote country by internet. You can see if I enable this one, I can click save. So you can see this is our Kinkoni Cloud service. So you can see the T6M is online. So you can see I can control on and off every channel from the web service. So you can see this is turn on off. And this also is digital input, a monitor sensor state, and this is for the analog input. So you can see this is King Kong web service because you don't need to install any application. So just visit this uh, web link uh, in mobile phone or in your computer. So this is a web service and you can see this have integrated home assistant also is used by auto discovery very easily. So you can see I just enable this uh, home assistant MQTT you can see this is my home assistant dashboard and you can see setting and the device and the device that have all this can connect board but you can see this time this board no T64. Now I will integrate to Home Assistant only by one minute. So you can see, I just ch change uh, the name, the device name, T64M. And this MQTT Moscute broke IP address and the part and the username and the password. So you can see, I, this is my load. I have installed Home Assistant by this IP address. So I just copy and uh, fill it here. This one, and this is MQTD part and the username and the password that according to your Moscow install on the uh, uh, Home Assistant. I installed in the Raspberry Pi server, Kinkoni Server 16. So you can see, I just only fill this information and you can press save. So that is the only this step integrate to the controller to Home Assistant. And the, this will be reboot. Reboot will need about uh, uh, 10 seconds. We'll update to Home Assistant. And you can see, 
I can refresh. I can refresh dashboard of Home Assistant. And we can see uh, this T64M that have found. So you can see, I can just click and you will see that have 64 channel digital output and 4 channel analog input and 64 channel digital input. So you can see, I can turn on 1, 2, 3, 4. That will use in Home Assistant immediately. And also you can see, I have turned on 5 channel and I back Back to Home Assist, uh, back to King Kong Cloud Server, you can see 5 chain output is on. So this is update state. And also we can shut the digital input for a test. So I use that twice to shut. For digital input 1, let's look at uh, this is digital input 1. You can see this digital input 1. I just shut for this one. This is digital input and this is ground. So you can see I shut for these two points. You can see that is on. And also you can see the King Kong Cloud Server. You can see uh, this is on. You can see this is on. I remove, this is off. So you can see a shot for this will be on and the remove will be off. So this can uh, monitor many different sensor states. You just uh, connect with the dry contact signal so that can be monitored by remote by internet. Okay, and you can see this is the protocol of King Kong Cloud Server and MQTT for Home Assistant and this MQTT protocol for your own cloud server so you can integrate the T60M to your own cloud server on the internet or lo local network. And this also can enable TCP server, T uh, TCP client or HTTP server or UDP server client or IS485. And the next, let's look at this a custom custom size protocol. You can see, you can define different protocol by TCP, UDP, or HTTP, or IS485 uh, for if TTT for then command or for if command. That means what you have received and what you will send for the custom size protocol content. And this Apple HomeKit also you can see you can define the import. Uh, just enable, disable, and then rename and output. And this is DAC, and this is ADC, is analog import. So this will be very easy to use for Apple HomeKit and the sensor. And just enable this Apple HomeKit and use this code uh, added to your iPhone or iPad. Okay, this is HomeKit and the Luxa Mini Server also support in. Uh, King Kong controller is integral to Luxa Mini Server by UDP command. You can see the UDP command protocol at here. So this all have showed the details how to integrate to Luxa system. And this is the Tuya. You can see the Tuya. You can see you can use for different uh, server location and uh, in your country. And you just buy the Tuya license from us, so you can use the Tuya license and use the Tuya mobile phone remote country by internet. And the system menu, you can see you can set the time rule and double click and hold down the time for the FDDT and the username and the password and the restart manufacturer and the restart bar, the board. So at this window, so you can see uh, the board have different protocol and have different application you can use at the same time. So that is very flexible. And if, if you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.